This is non-calculator question number 16. We have a word problem describing the cost of renting a boat where they say the rental is $60 per hour, so that's 60H, plus $10 for water sa safety course. And we want that to be no more than $280. So this is a linear inequality because $60 per hour is 60 times the number of hours. We're also told the rental is only available for a whole number of hours, so H will be a whole num number, not a fraction or a decimal. So let's solve this by doing the same thing to both sides of the equation. I'll subtract 10, leaving just 60 H on the left, less than or equal to 270, divide by 60, and H is less than or equal to 27 over 6, to find the exact value of h, I can take 6 into 27. 27. My chalk's jumping ahead. And I know that 6 times 4 is 24, which leaves a remainder of 3, which is less than 6. So 4 is the largest number of whole hours. Alternatively, you could just try a few numbers. At h equals 3, the rental is 3 times 6 is 180 plus 10 is 190. That's less. H equals 4. The rental is 4 times 6 is 60 is $240 plus 10 is 250. At H equals 5, the rental is 5 times 60 is 300 plus the $10 water safety course is 310. And that's too much. You can't go for 5 hours. So 4 is the largest number that works if you try a guess and check. College Board often asks word problems like this. Come back soon for my next math video. With math, there's always more.